An F450, 40s, carless suspension, how could we go wrong with this build? If you aren't familiar with this truck, this is Tiny Home Toy Hauler from Instagram as well as YouTube and we have a very unique truck to show you guys today. Now, Justice and his family use this truck to travel the country. I believe they live out of, part, live out of it part of the year. Um, they've been to, I think, all the Overland Expos, a lot of different trail runs and things like that for full-size trucks, um, based off clips that we've seen that he's even showed us in our shop. I mean, he truly does try to take this truck anywhere and everywhere, and frankly, it's capable. So often you guys see us uh, build trucks here and we show off the builds that we do. However, most of our business is actually shipping parts, whether it's to you in your driveway or to your local shop. So we actually shipped Justice this complete Carly suspension four and a half inch kit and he put it on himself as a part of this extremely custom build. Obviously, we're just gonna talk on our involvement, but he does have uh, plenty of socials to go along if you wanna check out every step of his build. This truck has the Carly suspension 4.5 inch system on it. Now, if you go to their catalog, they do not offer a 4.5 variation. However, we have combined all the necessary components to make the Carly 4.5 kit fit on an F450. So this truck's gonna have the front and rear custom tuned King 2.5 shocks, Carly soft ride front coils. In the rear, due to the weight requirements with the bed rack, the huge bumper, the spare tire, it actually is sitting on the HD leaf springs. Again, for those of you not familiar with that option, it is a heavier duty leaf pack designed for a thousand pounds of full-time bed load, a la this rack, everything included, um, even down to the Icky Concepts rack up against the bed that's gonna hold the jack and all the other accessories. Also, for those of you who with really unique situations, there's actually two levels up of leaf springs. However, all of those are for full-time weight, not for um, heavy fifth wheels and things like that. So please keep that in mind. Uh, going to the options that Justice went for, the front end utilizes the Carly suspension torsion sway bar. That is actually huge on the F450 builds because the additional throw that the front axles have, you need every little bit of front end uh, clearance up front and the sway bar is gonna allow for that. Now the increased articulation from those as well as the radius arms allow this truck to really go anywhere he takes it. For those of you not familiar with the radius arm, they're gonna get rid of the factory vulcanized style bushing that is actually common for some reason on a lot of other brands aftermarket arms the johnny joint that's in the carly arm is going to allow just that little bit more of flex you know that you can squeeze out of a true radius arm design now for those of you who um, aren't hauling your whole house around town literally um, there are lower levels of shocks that carly suspension offers and you don't need to quite spend as much as justice did however in this situation due to the extreme requirements the king 2.5s were basically a no-brainer the level of control offered for these shocks is not something you only need for high-speed off-roading, which is a common misconception. The high center of gravity load, just the overall weight of this truck, this is a 450 with a ton of extra gear in it. It's still gonna keep this truck planted on the highway so that way, uh, God forbid you need to make an emergency maneuver on the freeway, the truck's not gonna dive and get out of sorts. It's gonna track exactly how you want it and just drive extremely well in all situations. Now, I know we're gonna get a ton of questions on the wheel and tire combination. It is actually something we do not sell. The company that set it up is Stazworks, S-T-A-Z-W-E-R-K-S. They are going to be a super seal and conversion. So for those of you looking to build just the ultimate adventure rig, this is gonna be a part of it. We've shown in, in previous videos just how poorly a stock F-250 or F-350 performs. I have to imagine a stock F-450 is even worse. However, with a ton of work, Justice was able to turn what should be something hauling horses down the road into a true do-it-all rig. It's extremely cool. Um, he commutes in this truck, he tows his trailer with this, as well as, again, goes to a ton of off-road events and takes every, you know, takes this 450 a ton of places it should never go. In fact, when these clips were filmed, this truck actually just came back by our shop on the way home from Baja, Mexico. So he'd covered hundreds of miles in the dirt, um, no highways, did a ton of sightseeing, and is able to just throw this truck back on the highway, tow back home, and do it all in extreme comfort with no worries about broken parts, um, poor ride quality on and off-road, etc. It really can't do it all. 
Again, I'm only gonna to touch on the part of this build we are a part of. I will never take credit for actually putting this whole truck together. If you do wanna see different steps um, between his Instagram and his YouTube, there's a ton of content showing you uh, where this truck started from the beginning to the very end. It is extremely unique. You may have even seen it at Overland Expo and other events. We're just happy to be a small part of the project. If you do have any questions, we'll do our best to answer anything about the suspension related down below. And if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to him as well.